Well, first and foremost, I'm extremely proud and humbled to have been extended. Um, but I think what's, what is most important here is not about me as the Commissioner of Police, but it is about the role of Border Police and the work that we need to continue to do in order to reform the organisation as we've been doing so over the past two years. The Governor stressed that continuity and stability were important, so can you tell us what areas will you be focusing on? Yes, uh, the Governor is, is, is right in this regard. We've done a lot of reform in the organisation, particularly aligned to the recommendations by Her Majesty's Inspector Conservatories and Fire and Rescue Services. Um, so we've done a lot of work of how we investigate crime and how we supervise investigations, how we treat victims of crimes and particularly domestic abuse, and also about the code of ethics within our organisation. And We um, strive to have officers and, and the workforce, the entire workforce, including our police staff, um, adopting the code of ethics in absolutely everything we do. So we've done a lot of work with regards to professional standards, um, the principles of policing and standards of behaviour. Well, the report said that the RGP met just two out of eight areas for improvement identified. How many of the remaining six have already been dealt with? So they continue to be work in progress and they will always be work in progress. I think what, one thing that we need to understand here is that HMIC will come and inspect us in April this year and I'm sure they will, will inspect us and find that we've done a lot of hard work in order to um, implement the recommendations. But no doubt there will be further recommendations to improve the organisation because that's what we do. And we've also included self-identified um, pieces of recommendations for ourselves. So what we want to try and do is better the organisation for the workforce and the people of Gibraltar. There have been some disciplinary issues regarding members of staff, not too good for the RGP's image. Can you tell us, are you thinking of making any policy changes? I would disagree that you say that it's not good for the RGP. I, I would say that it is very good for the RGP because what we're doing is we're ensuring that the Royal Gibraltar Police as an organisation is an organisation that can uh, be reassured that we protect it um, and that the people that work for the Royal Gibraltar Police do so by abiding to our code of ethics, that the uh, principles of policing and the standards of behaviours that we've set out. There are still some serious matters outstanding which you inherited involving deaths at sea and there's also the Ian McGrell inquiry. Can the public expect full transparency in these matters? Oh, absolutely. I mean, in regards to the public inquiry, I can't really comment too much on, on that. It's com completely out of my hands. Um, but certainly um, we've been dealing with the um, incident uh, at sea uh, where sadly two men lost their lives and there is still due process in that regard. Commissioner, it's quite a peculiar situation, having an extension for just one year. Does that give you enough time to accomplish all the reforms that you want to, to do? Well, we've done a lot in the last two years and this is another year and I'm hopeful that uh, certainly we can have discussions to see how we can continue to progress um, my my commitment and my dedication to the role of Gibraltar Police. But I must stress that it's not about me and it's not about the Commission of Police, it's about the workforce, improving the conditions of the workforce um, so that they can work in an environment that uh, provides uh, a excellence in policing to keep Gibraltar safe.